Welcome back to Core 4. Today we'll be doing Pseudocode Basics Episode 2. So here's how to learn better and not longer. So today we'll be looking into input and output, conditional statements, and loops. So let's get started. input and output. So how do we input something? Input statements are used for entering data. So we can write it, the word input or read in capital next to the variable for it to be entered or taken in for processing. Some examples are input name and then we write a sentence in quotation marks so that the user knows what they're supposed to input or we can write read marks one. In this scenario marks is an array and it's telling to enter or take in the value that is stored in the position one for processing. Next is how to output. So output statements are basically used for displaying information. You can use the word output or print with a variable so that it can be displayed. Some examples are output total and print average mark. So for example, these variables of total and average mark are calculated in the pseudocode. So next, conditional statements. So what are conditional statements? So these are statements or pieces of code that are used when a decision needs to be made based on given conditions. So there are two types, if statement and case statement. So the first one is if statement. So it's always used in this order, if, then, else, and end if. So this is used when the condition is either true or false. So for example, let's take this. Um, they are inputting a number at the start. Of the code. So this statement asks if the checks if the number is more than five. If it is, then it outputs number larger than five. Else, if it's not more than five, it would output number lower than or equal to five. And if is used to close or end the if statement. Next we have case. Case is used in the order case of otherwise end case. So this is used when there is a choice between many different values. So an example is when we take grades and there are many options or values of grades. So we can write an if statement for this too, but it will take a long time to write. So case is a more efficient way of writing it. So if the grade is A, it would output excellent work. If it's B, it would output great work. If it's C, it would output good work. And if it's D, it would output can do better. And if it's none of these from A to D, it will just output try harder next time. So next, loops. So what are iterations? So iterations are when some parts or actions of a code need repeating. So loop structures are used to make this repetition. So there are three types of loop structures. For loop, repeat until loop, and while do and let and while loop. So first, let's see for to next loop. So this is used when we need a set number of repetitions. So let's look at this example. So here it says for count from one to five. This means this process that is inside this loop will take place five times. So here it will input the mark, check if the mark is higher than the highest mark. And if it is, it will change the highest mark to the mark that they just inputted and it will move on to the next count. So next, repeat until loop. This is used when um, the loop needs to run at least once but the number of repetitions is unknown. This is because the condition is checked at the end of the loop. So for example, let's see here. We have to, it repeats asking uh, what is 3 plus 5 and it inputs the answer until the answer is 8. So we keep asking the question again and again until it gets the response as 8. Next we have while do and while loop. This is where the number of repetitions is unknown and the loop may never run. This is because the condition is checked at the beginning of the loop. So let's see this example. While mark is more than 89, do output great job. And well, this means that unless mark is above 89, this loop may never run.
that's it for today so the next video is on solving pseudocode questions so make sure you check that out credits this presentation template was created by slidesco including icons by flaticon and infographics and images by freepik so thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe like and share our video to help others